like in a sense of the festival. It's it's not a reggae band festival. Mm -hmm. It's for me, it's a sound system festival. Oh, yeah. yes. Because of the word dub, people keep saying it's a dub festival. Yeah. That annoys me oh, yeah. because yeah. dub is like a catch-all term these days, and yeah. it's very confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it can yeah. be a million different things. Exactly. You know, and to me, it's it's not a dub festival. It's United Nations a dub because sound systems are. You know, dub is like the solar center, yeah, yeah, isn't of it? Of course, yeah. But, but, and people, like, there's certain people who say, oh, I'm into roots, so I'm, I'm not really going to come, you know. Well, I get the <laughs> Excuse me, like, what makes you think then in three days of sound yeah, system, you know, you want, you're not going to get roots? Yeah, like, the roots are muscle there, giant. You know, it's one of them ones. But yeah, it's like the, the whole concept was exactly that. It was to basically bridge all these gaps, bring the younger sound systems who aren't culturally aware, who, aren't, who don't know about His Majesty and the message and what that extra level of spirituality within that session brings. Because, you know, you go to a shaka session, you keep your corner, and by morning time, you literally have no more worries. You know, everything is alleviated, you, you kind of feel lighter. You know, if you listen lyrics and you, you pay attention, and especially before we didn't have to go out to smoke and you could stay in, in the older rooms, yeah. you get the meditation out of it, King. You get, you, you know, this this forget your worries and dance thing is 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 never more real than a proper soundman session. <laughs> backstage areas no exclusive you know zones there is no real need for press passes people are allowed to just be there you know and and that's what it's about we're in our infancy and we're just learning still but you know the involvement of of the older scene as well as the very eager young scene has kind of made it happen really and we can only thank the, you know the people for getting it <laughs> But it's very clear when you're here, just by seeing the faces and seeing all these different programming, like putting musicians together, like that lineup yesterday. Yeah. From Sons of Dub to Saxon to Festus to Vibronix to Dub Dynasty to Dub Chasm to, you know what I mean? These kind of sets, like rolling, like it's yeah, yeah, something yeah. normal. Think about this concept of basically um, making a festival focus around the sound system rather than the live band um, and the rest just sort of happened accidentally or organically whichever way you want to see it it's you know a festival everybody understands it's either a day festival or it's a few days in which case you can put a tent somewhere there'll be some port loose somebody will be selling really expensive sandwiches you know the score <laughs> right here you're like so I get a room or I get a ticket or how does this all work? So that, that has been a challenge for us to get across. Um, but yeah, the general concept is instead of being in a field, in a tent, with a port and, you know, in the summertime, we are slightly off season in spring and we are in a, a, a holiday park in Northern Wales uh, where included in your ticket is accommodation, a kitchen, a bathroom and multiple halls which are all indoors. So slightly independent of the weather, although we have been blessed with some good weather, as well as snowstorms. <laughs> and that's the vibe. It's, it's a couple of, you know, um, promoters from the Midlands who got a wild idea about representing our scene in a in like condensed fashion within three days. It's all about sound. It's all yeah, about that main arena. You know, the rest is just sprinklings. Yes. 